Hi guys, it's Angela with Kelly Mom Collects and today I have a box of thread up jewelry to open for you guys. This is thread up's five pound repurposed box of jewelry and I was only able to get one this time. I went back in for a second one and they were all, all sold out so bummer but I'm happy to have at least one to open for you guys and it came from Phoenix, Arizona and yeah, if there's anything in this box that you are interested in, you can email me at CallieMomCollects for you at gmail.com and I will put it up on the screen for you guys. And the prices that you see in this video are my discount subscriber prices. I will have these prices good for 24 hours. I let you guys choose what you want and then after that I start listing on eBay for full price. So Let's get into this box and see what we've got. This is a sticky one. Oh my goodness, I already see something I'm so, so excited about. Oh my gosh. Okay. We have got to see this one first. All right. Bear with me. I'm going to adjust a little bit. I changed my stand and it seems to be working better as far as not having so much fuzz. And I upgraded my phone and so hopefully, hopefully we got that all squared away. All right guys, this is amazing. This is a vintage Millefiori glass and these are very valuable. I actually, I have been gathering a bunch of glass jewelry. I wanted to do a video on glass jewelry, kind of share with you guys some, um, some things to look for and some, some identification help for you guys for glass jewelry because glass jewelry can be very valuable. And this piece I know because I have a couple like this and actually I think this one may be even nicer than the ones that I have. I know that these are valuable. So, okay, amazing start. It doesn't even matter what's in the rest of this box as far as I'm concerned. So let me show you guys this closely. These Millefiori pieces that have these bright Italian colors are definitely something to look look for and they can be they can be very valuable all right that's exciting have an overstretched acrylic beads we'll go into craft what is that well that's a premier designs that is a premier designs watch white it's fairly light it looks to be in good condition yeah that's in really good condition we will have to see what these go for That first piece really excited me. Uh-oh. We have an acrylic pair of zebra earrings. They are light. All right. 
right. This feels like stone. This is a cool piece too. Put the earrings aside. Wow. This is a long stone bead necklace in an undyed howlite. And we have these hematite crystal studded beads. And then down at the bottom, there is a leather tassel. Oh, there's a little peace sign too. So this is a cool piece and it's really long. Really long, let me see, yeah. All my stone lovers. We have acrylic beads. It says China. The stretch felt good, it looks good. This is a wearable piece. Uh-oh, this one's attached to a bunch of stuff. Ooh, this one feels nice. It is cold. These are glass. Nice, big, faceted glass beads. The elastic looks good on this one. Try to show you guys the elastic because the elastic says a lot about how much longer you're going to get use out of your bracelet. Okay, hmm. we'll come back to that mess. That's a cute little earring. I got a little ring. Okay, let's look at this necklace first, then we'll look at that ring. Okay, this is a big necklace, so it's, I'm not going to be able to get it all in this frame. It looks like the J. Crew necklaces. Let's see. Doesn't say. Doesn't say J. Crew. It's a nice statement necklace in pretty green colors. The chain looks to be in good condition. Ooh, there's something really dainty in here. And I want to be careful in case it is a silver. Ooh, what is this? Ah, all right, I'm not gonna pull hard on this one. I'm going to try to carefully untangle it. Oh, the dogs hear something outside. Got it. I'm going to push pause and see who's here. All right. It's just the neighbors. Look at this. Faith, hope, love is on the back of this pendant. I've got a dainty chain. All right. I'm going to look closely and see if I see any marks. And I do, it says 925 right here. Um, I don't know if the pendant is or not. Let me look at the pendant. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Let's do a quick little test on this, this pendant because it'll make a difference. The pendant is a nice, 
thick pendant. The chain is very dainty silver. So let's do a little scratch and see if the pendant is sterling as well. Missed, I missed my scratch. And it is, let's see if we can show you guys. My light is glaring. There we go. All right, so we have a sterling silver dainty necklace in really pretty silver cross. There is some tarnishing on this cross, so I will go ahead and polish it up and sell it. Okay, now to look at this. This looks interesting too. This looks like stone. It is cold. What does this say on here? L-A-C-N. Look at the pretty stone pieces on here. Oh, and it says faith. That is so cute. Okay, this looks cute as well. It looks like we have some stone pieces and some crystal pieces, and we have the adjustable macrame cord on the back. You can pull. Let's see if it pulls. Yep. Pull to adjust. Really pretty natural colors with the earthy beiges and greens. I like this one. Looks like it could be jade or adventuring. Okay, I had to do some adjusting. Ooh, this is pretty. Wait, 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 I'm seeing. And was the large one from earlier, did that match these? Let me see, where did I put it? Okay, I believe these all go together. Is there any more in here? Nope, I don't see anything similar. So we have the three. These are pretty. These are really pretty. One big, one with big beads and other with medium sized beads and they're pretty colors. All right, so these will be sold together. Gorgeous. I think that's the Coldwater Creek. Yep, Coldwater Creek. So this, I like the colors of this necklace with the browns and turquoise. Then it has these big glass ceramic bead down here. And these feel like glass as well. This is a pretty one. It's not really long. I feel like this would fit right, like right at the collar. Okay, these earrings are interesting. They kind of have an antiqued brassy tone with some crystal rhinestone accents here. They feel nice. They're not light. They feel good quality. Look at this thing. 
No, this is not real coral. This is light. This feels like acrylic. Still a fun piece. Look at that. We've got a fringe bib of this, uh, this coral. Oops. So we've got the chain, which is a gold tone. And then it looks like maybe somebody added on a little silver tone extender and a little silver tone. They tried to make it to fix it if there was wear. But this is a cute piece. Cute summer fun coral, faux coral necklace. Okay, we have a rhinestone bracelet. What does that say? It looks like an umbrella and I have seen the umbrella for certain brands, but this one's a little different. Oh my goodness. Hold on a minute. Okay, that was our Bella. She is our dog. She's the smallest one in this house and she is the most feisty one in this house. She kind of reminds me of my Italian mother, petite and feisty. So she thinks she's protecting us. All right, there is that one. I'm not sure of that brand. have a very long black bead necklace with little silver beads in there and it's one that you could definitely double here's it doubled this looks interesting Okay, so it looks like we have little cloisonne beads on this necklace and, oh, that's a pretty toggle clasp. Hold on. I don't see any marks. It kind of looks artisan. Let me show you the beads closely because they are really pretty. Okay. Then we have this little, what is that? Is it a pineapple? Is it a guitar? Might be a guitar with a crown. It is in a copper color and it has like a beige colored cord. All right, simple. Ooh, 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 okay. All right, so we have a wrap bracelet, but these look like it could be Swarovski. When you see these big snaps on the back, they could be Swarovski. Let's look. Yep, it is. There it is. I don't know if you could see it. There is the Swarovski. I have sold two of these Swarovski wrap bracelets, and they sell for a good amount. I want to say between 50 and $60. Now, um, when I do give this, it, it I'm trying to remember back. You guys can always look in my solds if you ever, you know, I did that when I was first starting out. I would find some jewelry sellers and look on their solds on their eBay. 
to kind of see what they were selling and what prices they were selling them at. And I so don't mind if anybody wants to check out my solds. I don't know if the Swarovski bracelet will be in there because I think they only do the last 30 days or something. But this is an awesome find. This I can sell for between $50 and $60. It is beautiful and sparkly and they are pretty teal colors. So you will come across inexpensive, cheaper versions of this. But if you ever see these pretty crystal buttons, check on the inside, look for that little flap there on the button to see the swan. And if so, you have a, a piece that you can resell for a good amount. Okay, now let's look at this pearl. Pearl. And it has a brass clasp, faux pearls. It's a long one. I think this one was made to be doubled. Yep, definitely can be doubled. Pretty faux pearl necklace. Uh oh. Uh, let's try again later. Oh my goodness, it's Donald Duck. Looks like little vintage Donald Duck earrings. Hopefully the other one is there. Right, I see a hang tag on this. Looks like Charming Charlie's. We've got a long silver tone necklace with these really pretty, looks like glass. Maybe acrylic. Facet acrylic swirled pieces. Looks to be in good condition. shoot it's cracked it's cracked right there so this cannot be sold this will go into craft I don't think they would have put a cracked bracelet in a bag that must have happened during the shipping process that's my thoughts at least Well, we have another Charming Charlie's. Another Charming Charlie's. Now, as far as Charming Charlie's goes, it is generally not a piece I will resell unless it is a really well-made, elaborate piece. And then I would probably list it for between $9.99 and $14.99. But generally, I would put Charming Charlie's in a bulk lot. Still have cute jewelry, but... Yeah, unless it is something that I think looks really good, I don't sell it on its own. And there was this big old thing with white flowers, but I can see right away that these white flowers are all chipped up. And it's tangled in with another necklace. Oh goodness, what's going on? Okay, got it, got it, got it. This necklace is very heavy. It does say sugar fix. Sugar fix. But it is, as you can see on these white enamel flowers, they're chipping. So this will be a piece that I put into a craft lot because some of the pieces are in good condition still. We have a little faux pearl bracelet. 
silver tone. Looks to be in good condition. This looks interesting. It looks vintage. Has a vintage vibe to it at least. Alright, where's the... That's the clasp. This is a long one. Let me see. This is as far out as I can go. Has all of these cute gold little ocean themed charms. The seahorse, the starfish, the little shell shells. So this is cute, but I do see somewhere it's still a neat vintage piece, I think. It's heavy. It feels nice. Even though there is some wear on it, I still think it is a nice piece. Okay. Oh, geez. We got a big knot at the bottom of this box, guys. Okay, let's see what fell out of there. We've got a ring. We've got earrings, a little pin. All right. So focus, we have a evil eye ring. No brands, looks to be like a fashion ring. Six. We have a little A pin for Angela. And we have, what is this? I don't know, a little petite bracelet that is all faded and worn out. That will go into craft. Earring. What is this? Ooh. Okay. Ooh, that's a neat little pendant. All right. Okay, let's look at this necklace. Oh, it's a long one. Kind of reminds me of a Cleopatra style necklace. So let's see, there are no brands. The gold tone looks to be in pretty good condition. Has little turquoise colored beads, multi layers, and it kind of just keeps getting wider and wider down at the bottom. Kind of cool looking, like a little artisan bead bracelet. That looks like rose quartz. Don't know if you can see the pink coming through. Okay, this one is long. Focus. Oops, I didn't move that. This is oddly long. Oh, okay, I see. So it's actually two layers. See, that's how it would go. Oh my gosh, Luna is snoring. Hold on.
Okay, this is unique. It has these two layers, this pretty little fringe with the rose quartz. And the gold tone looks to be in good condition. Cute piece. Oh, geez. All right, we have some earrings out of that. Looks like we have a Premier Designs piece. Double layer silver tone. Shoot, that does not, what does that say? Oh, it's just a little, a little crystal. Hold on, let me see if this piece is salvageable. I do have my polishing cloth here. If not, it will go into craft. And if so, oh, oh, look at that. It's polishing up. Okay, I think this piece will be fine. It just needs to be cleaned up. So we have a Premier Designs double layer silver tone necklace. Alrighty, this looks pretty. We've got little, what looks like glass. Yep, we've got glass, faceted glass beads. It is in a vintage style. Let me look. Let me look just, I do think I see 925 on that. So I do believe this piece is vintage. I'm seeing like a darkening on the thread and it is has that style of the what they would make back there. And so in vintage style, the coloring of the thread the clasp that was used, I definitely think that this is a vintage faceted glass bead necklace. I have a bunch of earrings, but we have a pair here, so we'll look at the, oh, this is a pendant. Little hematite. Oops, they're kind of in a square design. Little acrylic stretch bracelet. This looks pretty. Look at this one. Reminds me of Kate Spade. It feels very nice, very, very well-made, heavy piece. Shoot, I see a lot of the rhinestones are falling out. As a matter of fact, one just fell out right now. So, let me see the brand first off. Oh, it is a Kate Spade. There's the spade. There's the tag. Great, heavy piece. I will see if we have a bunch of rhinestones at the bottom of this box and see if it's fixable. Looks like mother of pearl and rhinestones. The gold tone is in excellent condition. It's just the rhinestones are falling out. Beautiful piece. What a bummer. I'm going to save that little, little guy just in case. Oh, we have another one that's missing um, biggles. Oh, wait, 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 I see something back there. And this is glass. This is a heavy, nice feeling glass piece. So let me see what the brand is. Oh goodness, BR, Banana Republic. This piece can be fixed. The gold tone is in excellent condition. Let's refocus. I love this almost rose plum color on these glass pieces. So I will try to fix this and probably sell it at a discount. If I've ever had to fix a piece, I don't try to get a full price for it. 
earrings and it looks like a little ring. Let's look. There is a mark in there so I'm going to look closely at that mark. And it says sterling written out. Let's see if you can see sterling. So it's just like a little almost like a chevron pattern here. Oh, it's a little ring. It's a tiny ring. It's not even three. It's like a two and a half. Maybe this is a toe ring. This is definitely a toe ring. Let's see if I can get it to focus. All right. I will polish that up. And okay, I do have a knot up here I have to address eventually. But I'm looking at the loose pieces. Okay, there is a match right there. Earrings. Okay, we have this bracelet in a gold tone. I wonder what that would look like on. Okay, a little fashion bangle. Then these cute little rhinestone studded balls. having some some issues with focus today they are not magnetic I will let you know I don't want to test anything else because this video is probably getting really long but I will let you guys know could be Ooh, this is really cool So it is a stretch. Let's look at the stretch real quick. Well, the stretch is like a different color, so it's hard to tell. This is a beautiful piece. The stations kind of have like an epoxy and rhinestones and flowers and beadwork. This is a gorgeous bracelet. I like it. I really like it. Let me look on the inside and see if there's any brands. Nope. We've got a fashion bracelet. Really pretty one. Bracelet. I don't see any marks on this one. get up rid of those that don't have matches and look at these that do so this is a brand new ring Ariella collection oh it's from Nordstrom it doesn't say whether it is silver or anything let's try to get a size I'm not going to take it off the package but Looks to be about a six. Okay, then we have this ring. Wait for it to focus. Looks like a fashion ring. Size six. And then all oh, this. Pendant looks awesome. I'm seeing enamel. I'm seeing a blue, either stone or glass with some type of glittering in there. Let's see if I can get it close for you guys to see. It almost looks like lapis or it's a glass made to look like lapis. I think this design is the 1928 design. 
but this is a beautiful brooch. Let's focus. Excellent condition. All right, we have these coral colored. Looks like some type of shell, mother of pearl. Kind of reminds me of the style from India with the bright traditional gowns. That's what that reminds me of. And we have a little pendant, little heart pendant here. I'm going to look closely to see if I see any marks. All right, it says AM925CN or China. Let me see. Yeah, anyways, I'm not gonna be able to show you guys, but I will let you know what this stone is. Maybe it's a topaz or an aquamarine. It's a really pretty, pretty little sterling silver pendant. I know I have a sterling silver chain somewhere that this can go on. And then, let's focus. We have these beautiful earrings. Look at these. These are glass, they are heavy, they are, they feel really nice, they feel like a designer. I'm gonna look closely, it kind of reminds me of maybe like some Kate Spade or something like that. I don't see anything, but they're beautiful. They are beautiful. They almost have like a green tint to them. Unless I'm seeing things. Beautiful earrings. Okay. Simple little cobalt blue, little tiny bead stretch bracelet. We're down to the last bit of this, what is that? This box. So there, I've got some tangles at the bottom of this box. I've got some stuff done. All right, earrings, all right, hold on. I've got three necklaces I can show you. One is a rhinestone necklace. There is that same hang tag. It's got the icing hang tag, maybe. It kind of looks like an icing piece to me. Let's see if all the rhinestones are there. It looks like it. Okay, then we have this piece. No hang tags. Silver tone looks to be good. I like this this pattern of all their all these tiny little pieces, but they form like this pattern down here, which is pretty cool. There's that, and then this. This doesn't look to be in good condition. It's not a piece that I will sell. This will go into craft. All right, guys, I've got a bit of a tangle at the bottom of the box. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause and get all of these pieces out. Oh yeah, that one's really stuck and show you what's left and then do the earrings and in the video. Okay, I got the last bit of the necklaces untangled. We have this piece here, piss. Oh my goodness. All right, <laughs> we have this piece here and I am noticing it's, it's a really neat artisan style piece here, but I see a lot of verdigris and it looks like amethyst, but as it stands right here, this is not a sellable piece. So I thought 
let's see. I got some vinegar. I'm going to place this necklace in the vinegar. See if I can get the verdigris off and show you guys a way that I, that I do try to get verdigris off. In some cases, it will take off the, the coating on the necklace if there is a plating, but sometimes it cleans it all off. So we will see, we're gonna, we're gonna do that together. We also have this long Charming, Charming Charlie's necklace. And I do think I am seeing some wearing here on this pendant. We had this crazy bird necklace at the bottom of the box, but I do believe it is coming undone. Needs a jump ring, that's all. It just needs a jump ring and it can be fixed, but this is not a piece I will sell. This will go into craft. Also, I think the clasp is broken and the chain is darkening. Then we have this another Charming Charlie's piece. It is long gold tone with all these little gold tone diamond shaped pieces. Let's see, the gold tone looks to be pretty good. Necklaces, they're two separate necklaces. One's yellow and one is orange. And then this piece looked really interesting. It reminds me of Betsy Johnson, but I'm seeing some what looks like real pearls. There is a hang tag, so we'll look at that. But look at this pendant, it's so cute. Look at the bird. There's an enamel bird and flower and what looks like stone. This looks like a stone to me. The pearls. Gold tone. I do see some fading on this gold tone, but not a ton. All right, let's look at the, I'm gonna have to look at this closely. Oh my goodness. Less Nariathus? Oh, do, do not mind my fake accent because I cannot figure this out. But I will look it up and see what I find. It's less something with an N and D-E-S at the end. So it's a really pretty piece though. Really, really gorgeous piece with that bird and the flower and the pearls and the stone. Okay, and then there was one more, let's focus. One more necklace that this looks like it could be sterling silver. It does have one of those clasps. I'm gonna look closely at. Okay, and it says 925RO. Looks like sterling silver and a little black onyx necklace. All right, that was it for the necklaces. Oh, wait, 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 I forgot our little experiment. I forgot about our experiment. Let's see, how's it doing? I do believe that the verdigris is coming off. Let's see if I can I'm gonna let that continue to, to rest because I still do see some in there while we go through the earrings. So I'm gonna pause the video and match up our earrings. All right, here are our single earrings of this lot and a little pendant that I did not catch. It's just a little blue pendant. And these are the three single earrings that are sterling silver. And I'm really bummed out about this one. Look at how cool this one is. It's a bird with etching and a stone on the wing. But I believe that this one could be made into a pendant. Because that is really cool. So those are our single earrings of this box. 
All right, the next set of earrings are all a dangle fashion earrings. We have these with the glass beads. Pretty smoky quartz color in like a teal blue color on those. These, see the, a little bit of fading on this gold tone you can see around the edges of those, but they're pretty. Little shell dangles. These are unique. I think these are glass. They are not acrylic. They have that high pitched. Let's see. It's hard to see with my finger behind it, but look at look at these earrings. These are actually really unique. And they feel like glass to me. Okay, like those. And then these hematite colored cluster dangles. If I can get this. Ah, okay. Those are them. All right. All right, our next set of fashion earrings, we have these silver tone disc, kind of medallion style earrings. These are light. Then we have these little mother of pearl fashion earrings. Then these little black Looks like we're missing the little black rhinestone out of that, but I'm sure I could fix that. Yeah, they sound like glass. I would fix these. These pretty little dangles. Black bead dangles. And then these hematite beaver back. Kind of like has like a cluster ball here. Right? Okay, in the next group we have some fashion studs. Look at these cute hearts and they're like a ceramic. We have some crystal studded, rhinestone studded balls. We have these little, kind of like a lime green color. I don't know if this is verdigris starting on the corners here, you can see kind of like a darkening on the corners, so I don't know about these. And these, I already looked, these are the brand Roman. And I have sold these identical earrings just in a sapphire blue color. And they sold for $9.99, I believe. So these are sellable earrings. And these pretty little rhinestone studded, kind of like a knot stud. The gold tone on these are really nice. Okay. We have another set of studs. We have these little coral colored studded earrings. A gold tone there is some fading on the backs of those then we have these cute heart stud earrings let's see they kind of look like the bb brand b with the backwards b then we have both of the donald duck earrings these are so cool so what does that say does it say organ Oh, the organ ducks, maybe? Well, those are cool stud earrings. They look vintage to me. Then we have these little princess cut fashion earrings. These little stud fashion earrings with the crystal. And these little itty bitty, little itty bitty baby stud earrings. Okay. All right, the, these two earrings are a fashion earring. 
These are cute. Let's let's refocus. Cute vintage style windmills in a silver tone. Those are cute. And then these are really pretty. We've got enamel on the flowers, faux pearls. Don't think I see some chipping on the enamel though, on the tips of the flowers. Maybe, I think that's what I'm seeing. These are still cute and I will definitely sell these at a discounted price because of the chipping, but I still think these are a cute pair of earrings. Okay, all of these next earrings, the hooks tested as sterling silver. So we have these little silver and abalone disc earrings. These sterling silver and onyx earrings, and these ones are also marked on the back. Let me look. I didn't look to see what it said. There's a lot actually on the back. I believe down here at the bottom it says Thailand and 925 on the top. And I believe that these match the necklace that we found earlier. So I will price and sell them separately, but I believe that they are a match. Then these little sterling silver and pearl, these are real pearl earrings and these are marked. They are kind of, the, the wires are a little light and small, but they are cute. And then these sterling silver and glass earrings, kind of like a light green. And then these sterling silver and faceted glass little earrings as well. These are like a really pretty citrine color, almost like a champagne-y. See me move my fingers out of the way and see if, look at how the facets on this, really pretty. Okay, so cool to get so, so many sterling silver earrings in there. Now I am going to go, I don't see green anymore. I'm going to go rinse all of the vinegar off this necklace, dry it, and show you guys and see if we can salvage this piece. All right, guys, the vinegar got all of the verdigris off. Um, I do think maybe I'm seeing some type of rusting or discoloration a little bit, but I went and tested the stones. They are garnets, and this is a really cool. It reminds me of the Tibetan silver vintage artisan pieces. Let me try to show you closely. It has all of these links. This necklace is so cool. There is a little bit of discoloration. But this is an awesome piece. I love it. I'm excited about this piece and I'm glad we were able to get all the green off of it. So that is it guys. I'm gonna pull back my favorites and end the video. Okay, I had so many favorites I could hardly fit it in this frame. This is probably one of the best boxes I've gotten in a long, long time. Number one is this vintage Millefiori glass bead bracelet. Um, all of this sterling silver, so much sterling silver, this clasp, the this, the set, all of these earrings, the ring, and then the single, the Swarovski. This, this pendant here, I still have to look up the designer, but that stone in the middle was registering in the jadeite spinel. And all of these stone pieces and glass pieces and a couple of the fashion pieces, I just, I just loved. So I hope you guys enjoyed this time with me. I'm sure this went a little long, so we did some extra things, but thank you so much for being here. And until next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.